Is high definition video breaking YouTube? Find out that and more this week on The Social Rundown. With everything that's going on in the world, you can imagine how difficult the internet must be working to make sure that we can all still scroll through social media. And many of our favorite platforms have had to make adjustments to make sure that we still have a brilliant service. And one of those being YouTube. They've announced that they're officially gonna be decreasing the default streaming quality of the videos. YouTube initially rolled this out to Europe as they were afraid their servers were going to become overloaded. They have said that they don't want to roll this out to the entire world, but they're just going to play it by ear and see how things go. What quick update. YouTube have now said they're going to be rolling it out worldwide. So just wanted to let you know. Back to Fraser. And YouTube isn't the only one, as Netflix have also run into troubles and are now not streaming HD to Europe anymore. So sadly, we're all going to have to go back to the good old days where standard definition was the norm. And news from Snapchat now, as it seems that an old app that was previously dead has now been revived now that everybody's staying at home. Zenly, which is owned by Snapchat, allows users to compare the amount of time that they're spending at home, so almost like a leaderboard for who's winning in the fight against the virus. Users are encouraged to share their location with their friends, which means that you can see who's at home and who's not. Originally, this was made to track how much people go out, to encourage people to venture outside, but now we dare venture outside, it's now proving to be a great way to see who's breaking those rules. Although many of us have been using the news to fact check things that we see online, it seems like a lot of people haven't been doing that and messages have been being forwarded on WhatsApp that are spreading misinformation about COVID-19 and WhatsApp, they want to put a stop to it. The messaging service is working on a new feature which will allow you, before you forward a message, to research that on Google to authenticate it and then if it is right, you can forward it on. If not, it's goodbye forwarded message. The feature is currently under development, which means that we can't use it right now. However, when it does come out, I'm sure it'll be a great way to fight fake news in general. And that's it for the social rundown this week. Thanks very much for joining me for another self-quarantine version. And remember, you can listen to this as an audio-only version. The link's up there as well as subscribe for WhatsApp updates and our mailing list. So there's tons for you to put your email in. It's great. Anyway, have a fantastic week. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.